everyone. I uh, hope you can hear me. I might come a bit closer. This morning in the, the bit of drizzle and rain we've had, I've been doing a uh, walk around the paddock, just checking out the weeds and the prickles and seeing how we're going. And um, I do have a couple of patches of prickles around the place and I know where the patches are. So I usually go back and check them over and over again. Um, and when I was doing a bit of mowing a few weeks ago, I found a new patch of prickles that I didn't know was here. So it has got away from me. Uh, so it's a patch of bindies. Nasty little things they are. Of course, they attach to your feet and your shoes and the mud in the horse's ho hooves and get spread all over the place. So I have started pulling them out because I usually just do it all by hand. I rarely use poison around here anymore because I mostly get to the prickles and the weeds um, before they seed, so I pull them out by hand. But as you can see, this prickle patch goes up behind Donna and then down next to the right on to this patch. So I'm gonna be here forever trying to pull them out, plus all, all the dead prickles that have come off the plants. Um, so the next best thing would, for me, and I've done this previously, is to actually cover the prickles over. Uh, there's a few reasons for that, um, and I'm co covering them over with uh, some old mulch hay and then some manure. It would be better if it was um, composted, but I don't have a compost pile at the moment. So I've just gone around collecting a bit of manure, um, and the dung beetles have had a go at the manure too, so it's nice and loose, ready to compost down easily. Uh, so I'm going to cover it over with uh, the hay first, and then the manure and eventually it's going to compost down. It's going to take a while, it could take 6 or 12 months, but in the meantime I'm also going to fence off this patch so the horses can't get here so they don't spread it. That's the main, the main concern is them spreading it further. Uh, now lots of people might say, yeah, but the, prickle, prickle, bleh, sorry, the prickles are going to grow through the, um, the layer that I've put down. Um, and that's fine. Sorry about the traffic. Of course we're live and I can't do anything about that. It's probably home time actually. Uh, so it's fine that they grow back through, but when they do grow through, I know where this next prickle patch is going to be, so I'm going to monitor it all the time. And when the new plants come through, I will then poison them if I have to, or um, pull them out if they haven't seeded yet. And that's the whole plan by doing your regular paddock checks. So, and then the other, other reason for using compost or materials that will mulch down um, wait for this one, I think. Is the, the compost is eventually going to make the soil healthier and it's going to have all the correct microbes and vitamins and minerals and all that in the soil. And when you've got healthy soil, you don't get as many weeds. The weeds are there to do a job of some kind. Um, where the, 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 the weeds could be increasing something that they need in the ground or taking excess of something out of the ground. So if you've got a huge patch of a particular, particular weed somewhere, there's a reason for it. Um, but once your soil becomes healthier, you'll have less weed patches. So, so yeah, there's, there's covering the prickles so they don't get spread and then also helping the soil to get healthier. So hopefully no more prickles or weeds will come through it. So I'll, um, I'll start spreading my hay and putting the manure over the top and we'll just see how we go. I'll start down here because I know that's where the last patch of pickles was, so I started digging. This is already half mulched because it's been out in the rain. I don't want to put the biscuits down really thick because otherwise it just takes forever for it to mulch down. Where else do they go? There's some there. There. Where else is any of there? I think that might do it for this patch. 
just check up here. Right, that looks good. Start with my wheelbarrow. The other, one of the other reasons I'm putting the hay down first and then the manure on top of the hay is just in case the horses get through the electric fence, which quite often happens here. Um, they'll still go for your mouldy, mulchy old hay. So by covering it over with the manure, hopefully that'll hide it from them in case they get in. But I think the manure on the top will also help it mulch down a lot quicker. So um, I think you get the idea of what I want to do. That's how it's going to look in the end. I'm not going to do anything more to it, apart from cover over the other hay and, and do my other patches around here. But hopefully you've learned something. This is just uh, an idea I've come up with over the last 18 months when I've only had just random patches of prickles that I haven't been able to pull up. It's, it has worked really well in the other paddock down the back. Um, I had a different kind of prickle that was actually quite high and me and my mum pulled out all the plants, but lots of the prickles fell onto the ground. So we did the same thing, but when we did that, I had um, compost, uh, a couple of little of these trailers of compost that I put down. And I've been back after every uh, shower of rain and regularly checked that patch that we mulched. That patch wasn't fenced off because I didn't use hay. And I haven't had any prickles come through there yet, but like I said, I regularly check it and hopefully I'll be on top of it when, if any more do come through. So if you want any more information on some paddock management tips, you can go to horseutopia.com.au. I'll wait for the car and the other car. Um, I've also got a face, Facebook page, Horse Utopia. Um, I also offer other services. under the Horse Utopia banner, uh, so you can get on there and check out what I offer. I've also got a paddock management ebook that I've got available for $14, and I don't think this tip is in that book, um, but there's lots of other tips on how to manage your paddocks in there, and that's on my uh, website. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something, and I'll catch you later.